Hey guys, welcome to ExcelForNoobs.com. This is just a video tutorial on an Excel tip, and the tip is, or trick, how to add images or pictures to Excel comments. Now, off the top of my head, um, an instance where this might be useful is, say you, you're outsourcing some work to, um, may, you know, maybe it's, you're outsourcing some work to somebody in Pakistan or India, and maybe there's a language barrier, but the person that you're um, outsourcing your work to is very good with accounting and math, and you just want to eliminate any possibility of errors. So what you could do is like in our example right here we have a um, basically a, a, a small table that I put together and there's some qualitative data on the left which is a sofa, chair, recliner and you just want to make sure that there's no um, possibility of error so you can add a comment with an image that way, um, whoever's going over this can scroll over and the comment will pop up and they can see an image of what it actually is. And especially if you're working with, um, you know, maybe even some, a more sophisticated, uh, more sophisticated types of data and you just, you can have a quick description with an image of exactly what it is and that, that way, you know, whoever's going over the, whoever's editing or working on the table or the sheet knows. So anyway, let me show you how to do it. You're going to, um, first, you're going to click on the cell we're going to add the comment and you click new comment. I'm assuming you already know how to add comments. Now, what you're going to do is instead of adding any kind of text inside the comment, which you can do that, I can go in here and I can put sofa as well. Okay, if I could spell it. Now, you will put your, uh, you're going to click on the box, the comment box. You're going to put your mouse right over the edge, somewhere on the edge. And then you need to right click and come down here to format comment. Okay. This is the format comment dialog box. And obviously here you can, you know, make many different um, changes to your box, whether it's adding colors. Um, at you know changing your borders changing the font the style the color of your text um, a lot of different things but what we're gonna do is add an image so you go here and then under the fill group you see this color command box you click on the arrow and you're gonna come down to fill effects click on the fill effects and then right here you have the fill effects dialog box you know you see the different tabs up here we're gonna click on picture and then we're gonna select picture click on the select picture button I'm in Excel 2013 so in Excel 2013 you have different options especially with the addition of the SkyDrive because you can start saving you can save files onto the um, onto your cloud so you can access them anywhere in the world from any computer um, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the office clip art and we're going to look for a picture of a sofa. So you click on sofa. All right. So then we'll find the image that would best describe it, describe what it is right here. That looks good. So we click on that. Click on insert. Press OK in the fill effects dialog box. And then again, OK in the format comment. And there we have a comment that is an image. And you can resize it or make it small. All right. And then you can scroll over it. And obviously that's too small, but then they can see what it is. You can do the same thing with chair. But we're not going to go through this because you already know how to do it. Now, I will show you how to do it in Microsoft um, Office 2010 because it's a little bit different. You can see I already did it here. You're going to edit the comment. Right, cl right click with your mouse over the edge. Format comments. You can see I already have it, but you do the same thing. Color line. Right now all the steps are the same. Click down. Fill effects. Select picture. And this is where it's different. In Excel 2010, it goes directly to your files on your computer. So if you were to want to pick a an office.com image, you would have to go there, save it to your computer, 
and then um, add the image this way. All right, that's our Excel for Noobs.com video tip. Hope you enjoyed it, enjoyed it and uh, hopefully you may be able to use it one day and know how. Thanks for watching and have a good day.